<clears throat> what a great way to start. Um, I thought about how I should start, if I should lead off with this, or if I should save it until the end of the video, and I think it'd be better if I just said it right off the bat, uh, before I even start playing the game. So, Christmas morning, which would be last Wednesday, it's now Sunday, uh, at, I got an email at 5 a.m. from YouTube saying that because I had multiple videos that were blocked worldwide, which was my attempts to upload the Pokemon Let's Watch, they would be disabling monetization for my account. Uh, meaning, you know, because I was, in their eyes, it looked like I was just uploading the Pokemon movie, and I did it multiple times, they disabled monetization for my account for six months. Um, because of this, I... I'm going to finish Digimon World 2. I'll finish doing the Let's Plays. I'll still do one a week, uh, either Sunday or Monday. But once I finish Digimon World 2, I'm going to hold off and wait until the six months are up. Um, I've said before, I don't care about the money. It's not about the money. It's that YouTube is basically saying, you know, we have the, we can, we think you did something wrong, so we have to punish you. I don't, it means I can't mess up again. If I upload a video, like, and they decide, you know, this video doesn't meet our standards, or with all the new copyright laws, if this video, or not copyright laws, all the new copyright policies on YouTube, if YouTube decides I mess up again, there is a chance that I could lose my account, or they could ban my account. Now, I don't know how many steps between here and full loss of my account there are, but I don't want to waste it. I don't want to chance that. I could not risk losing all of my videos uh, that I've worked for for a year and a half. So I'm going to continue to do one Digimon World 2 part a week, and when I finish Digimon World 2, I won't, there will be no videos until the day that I get monetization back. Now it said six months, if it actually means like six months exactly, then that should be uh, the very end of May or the beginning of June. And that also means during this time, I will not upload any Sly, Kingdom Hearts, Magic Pendul, nothing until the time when monetization comes back. I can't take any risks. I don't. It's, to be honest, I'm not only am I shocked that they would send me an email like that and there's no contact number, I can't talk to anyone on YouTube, there's no, you know, chance for me to appeal or anything, they just flat out told me, you know, this is your first strike, and I don't, I don't want to chance it, I honestly don't, um, so, the Digimon World videos, they really haven't even, they haven't flagged anything, as in I've never gotten any reports over any of them, and then there's never been any trouble with them. So I feel safe in continuing with Digimon World 2, but I honestly, the only reason I'm finishing it is because, you know, this is part 16, I've come so far already, I want to finish this, I, I owe it to you guys, I couldn't stop for 6 months and then pick up where I left off. So I'll continue to do Digimon World 2, but when that's done, I'll be waiting a couple, so, you know, I might finish in February or March, and then... When I do finish the game, then I'll stop. Um, I don't. I'm sorry it has to affect you guys, but I mean I've talked about it before. The way YouTube works is it, it's unfair sometimes, and I try my hardest to make sure that it doesn't affect my subscribers. But there's my hands are tied here. I um, I really don't want to risk it. It's no videos for a couple months is better than no videos ever again. So, uh, I'm sorry I had to tell you guys that. I debated whether or not I should say this at the end of the video, but I wanted to say it right off the bat, just so it doesn't seem like a bombshell or that I might be kidding or something. Uh, I am incredibly serious with this, and I'm sorry that it's come to this, and I'm sorry that, you know, YouTube messes up sometimes. It's... I mean, maybe it's my fault for trying to upload the Pokemon video a couple times. Um, the whole thing is I wanted to make sure I had a video on Christmas, but... Silly me, right? So, now that that's out of the way, let's, uh, let's start the video. 
<clears throat> so we're on part 16. All that's left is the Bios domain and then some more missions. And that'll be fun. We'll be doing things and stuff. Oh, so I already kind of went... I actually got to the uh, last floor in this domain because I was training... Uh, which one? It was... At first I was just trying to level up Arrow Vigermon or I guess get him to level 21. And then uh, Tankmon's not with me, but he got to level 20 and I wanted to get him to level 21 so I could upload him to... or Digivolve him to Ultimate. But uh, he maxed out his level at 21, so... He's in my... Uh, Digibank or the server, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, honestly, when I went through here, it was a lot easier than the other ones I went through. Is that a bug thing? I mean, that's weird. Um, so let's see, I've got a um, pretty strong team. Shit, I could have dodged him pretty easily, but I didn't. <clears throat> uh, as you can tell by my voice, I'm still very sick. Uh, I don't feel sick, but. I sound it, so, you know, that's the more important mark. <sighs> um, yeah, I might be dying. Who knows? So, <laughs> I keep having problems each week and get real sick of it. My body's like, no, I don't want to put up with you anymore. Meh, yeah, she, yeah. For some reason, I imagine my body talking like the henchman of a 1940s gangster. But, uh, you know, maybe... I don't know anything. I don't know everything. I I know things. I don't. It, I know some things. Um. So the big thing. I don't know if I talked about it, but I um, I bought all the Yu-Gi-Oh mangas from the original series. So the ones written by Kazuki Takahashi. Um. So all the original Yu-Gi's Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, with Yu-Gi, jo uh, Joey, Tan, all them. Um. And I just finished before I started this part. I finished the last. Um. So I guess it would be number 43, technically. I've read through the original 7, and then I read through the 1 through 24 Duelist, which follows, you know, the show. And then I read Yu-Gi-Oh! R, which takes place between uh, the end of Battle City and um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium World. And then I read the 7 from Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium World, and it was all pretty good. I'm really a huge fan of the series, and now, of course, I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! games. So, I'm playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2011 on my uh, DS. It's been uh, it's been pretty fun. Um, one sec. Oops, sorry. Back to the video. Uh, yes, yeah, so I just finished the last um, the last volume, and uh, goddamn, the manga is. So don't get me wrong, the show is good, even the shitty 4 kids dub is pretty good. But the manga, like, you know, reading it the way the stories are, like, supposed to be told, it's like a couple little different things here and there. There's a lot more blood and there's a lot more death, but, um, I like it so much more. It's, um, I really enjoy the manga. So to finish, finally finish it after reading through the entire thing is pretty cool. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm glad I'm done with it, but at the same time, I'm sad because now I have 43 volumes just sitting on my drawer, my uh, dresser, and I know I can't read them for like another three years because, you know, I want. When I was reading them, I had legitimately forgotten most of the stuff that was in them, so it was really cool to like reread them. Uh, I don't know how long I have to wait before I do that again. I think I have to wait like six years the first time, so I don't know. I might try and. Uh, buy the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX ones now, and then maybe we run to 5Ds. Uh, they weren't written by the original, they weren't written by the same author. Uh, I th think GX is written by someone different, and 5Ds is written by another person different. But that new one, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, uh, I don't know very much about it. Uh, I haven't watched it or really looked into it at all, but apparently that one is written by Kazuki Takahashi, uh, the original author, so that could be pretty cool. Um... I've been playing a little more Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, I was just grinding, doing some jobs on my own. Uh, they introduced the shark cards, which are like, pay $3 in real life, and you can get um, like $200,000 in game, and it's, it goes all the way up to um, 
you can pay fifty dollars real cash for three million and five three point five million in game. And Carlos doesn't like those kind of transactions, um, but like you know he doesn't like pay to win. But I don't really see Grand Theft Auto Online as competitive. Um, to me, it looks more like it's you know it's about enjoying stuff with your friends. So you know if you have one person who doesn't want to level up that much, or you know you don't really want to put that much, you can't put the, you either don't want to or can't put that much time into the uh, game. Then they give you the option to just you know get a stipend into you into your account, so to speak. And I kind of like that, especially with a game like Grand Theft Auto, where a lot of the stuff is crazy expensive. Uh, I'm still working off uh, a while ago because there were so many like bugs with Grand Theft Auto Online. If you played Grand Theft Auto Online, I think in the first two weeks or maybe the first three weeks, they gave you uh, a stipend of 500,000 in-game cash. Why did my volume just go up so much? Oh, hold on. I hit my headset by accident. Okay, so I'm going to put you down. Alright, that was weird. I kicked it, and I don't normally touch that thing, and it was like, all of a sudden super loud. But, um, yeah, so I took the 500000 I got. I bought one of the apartments. I actually bought the same apartment that Michael, I think, has in the Grand Theft Auto V Let's Plays they do. And, um, it's, you know, it's a really nice apartment. I like it. But it's cool just to have, like, a home base to keep going back to. Uh, also, if you haven't played Grand Theft Auto Online, uh, which is just Grand Theft Auto V, the online version, the multiplayer, uh, just by playing, like I went and looked through some of the websites, I got four free cars. Uh, I don't know if that's because I played at a certain point. There's three cars that are free with the Beach Bum Pack. Uh, there's also a couple free weapons and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it was weird to like not play for a while and then go back and like kind of look around into the game and find out that there's plenty of just free stuff. Like, there's the, the car is like the Allergy or something. Uh, it's a really nice sports car, and it's fast, so, you know, I got that free, and it's, it's pretty much the only car I've been using. That's pretty awesome. So, as much as people give Grand Theft Auto Online shit, if you just start off, or if you go into it, um, they give you a fair amount of stuff free. So, not like, you know, the best stuff is still cost a ton. Like, the giant airplane costs a million dollars still. Um, I, w I got to rank 11, uh, most of the stuff, like cars and stuff like that, unlocks at 20, it looks like, or 21, um, a lot of the weapons you need higher ranks to get, to get, like, the better weapons, but, um, still, I was really enjoying it. Uh, I think I might go back and, uh, it might be my, my, like, passive game, like, you don't have, I don't have to get, like, super into it, kind of like Minecraft, it's not like I'm playing it. Uh, to play, you know, to get to a certain objective, it's kind of just like, you know, play a little here, get, have some fun stuff to do, you know, it's a, oh, fuck me, okay, I don't care, uh, I don't need money for anything really, at this point, when I get to the Digimon Island, then I'll need tons of money, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to fight this guy, <clears throat> that was dumb of me, I could have totally avoided that one, <clears throat> let's take a drink, And now I'm gonna blow my nose because my nose is leaking. Alright. I tried to put my hand over the speaker so you don't hear any of the gross stuff, but I mean, it's still a headset. It's tough to block that stuff out. Um, let's see, what else? Playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Dying pretty much inside. Um, oh, I played FTL. Um, I was putting off playing the game for the longest time. Um, it's a game on Steam. Um, it's you know you have a ship, you're trying to get to a certain point. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, fuck me, I love FTL. That was so goddamn addicting. Uh, I don't. Know, I think I've talked about it before. The reason I like Digimon World One so much is like. I like micromanaging, and I like like unlocking more features as you play through a game. Um, so like, my favorite mechanic in Digimon World One is like each time you save a Digimon, that Digimon does something in your town. 
and slowly the town gets more and more populated and there's more and more stuff to do in the town. I love that mechanic. I wish more games would use that mechanic and I really, I, I feel like you don't see it enough. And um, FTL's not really exactly like that, but I also like micromanaging in games, which is a really weird thing to like, but I totally do. Um, so, you know, I'm enjoying that aspect. Let's see. That's, which one do I like better? Uh, I guess Dark Side Attack is stronger. Um, <clears throat> the cool thing about Metal Greymon having Nova Blast now is that when I run out of MP, uh, there's a better chance I'll still be able to attack, you know, at some point. Right, that's good news, muchachos. Um, but yeah, I was playing FTL. I didn't beat it. Uh, the furthest I got is I did get to the... This is for people who've played it. Um, I did get to the Rebel Flagship, um, but it kicked my ass. I was totally not ready to fight it. Um, I was using the NG Cruiser. Um, I haven't unlocked any more. Because uh, you get the NG Cruiser for getting like moderately far in a game. It's pr the game is hard. Like something can go slightly wrong, and it just you know you're fucked. You you lose. But um, for the most part, I'm enjoying it. And you can get lucky sometimes and get better weapons and stuff like that, and better crew members. Um, I th I'm trying to unlock either the Mantis or the Rock ships, but they're, man, they're. I, I didn't realize this, but I looked up how to unlock the ships after. Um, if no, if none of my subscribers have played FTL, it's gonna be a really fucking annoying conversation. But um, I tried to look up the, some of the sh how to unlock the ships after, and apparently I was halfway through the rock mission. Like all I needed to do was go back to one more planet, and I would have unlocked a rock ship. But uh, a solar flare just destroyed my ship. Like there was too many fires, I couldn't put it out. Um, it killed too many of my crew, and I was just I I lost it. I was so pissed. I was so goddamn close. Um, but uh, yeah, unlocking ships is important because the first ship, it's, it's, uh, it's you can kind of fight with it, but it's hard, very hard. It's not a very good ship. Um, it's a decent ship. You can get a decent amount of far if you're lucky too. But I don't use it so much. I like the NG one a lot more. Tip typically, I'm a little better with it. Um, but enough about that game that I don't think that many people have played. Um, oh, I also played Gone Home, and that was the game that Carlos was like, this game is, it's, you know, it's my game of the year, or it was going to be his game of the year. He's been talking about it non-stop, and, um, I played it. I thought it was okay. Um, I bought, I think I bought it for like $10. It was on sale on Steam. I don't regret buying it. I think I got my money's worth, but it wasn't like my game of the year. Not even close. Um, game of the year, I'd have to give to Saints Row 4, Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, maybe Beyond Two Souls if we're going from an artsy direction, but not. I wouldn't give it to Gone Home. Um, and it's not that I don't like the kind of game that it is. It's that um, I don't want to spoil the game because it's only a couple months old. I mean, you should play it, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Um, just in case someone does want to play it, I'm, I won't say anything. But um, I've seen the mechanic the game uses. Uh, basically, you go to an empty house and you find items around the house and together you slowly piece together uh, where your family is, your mother, your father, and your sister. And you can slowly piece together, and you're also following the sister's story throughout. You can kind of see how she was, um, and you know, it's a good story, I guess. Um, nothing against it, but I, the mechanic of like going through a level and finding things along the way, I've seen that. You know, I, I play RPGs. I see that all the time, where you know, you go through an area. And it's like, it may be a small part, but it's like, um, I, I, th Carlos used the example of Last of Us, when you find the story of Ish, when you're going through, like, the underground cavern, you, you know, you find notes about him, you slowly find out, you, it's like a side story within a story. I've seen them do stuff like that in Dragon Age, I've seen them do it, like, RPGs all the time, so, I mean, the mechanic didn't really blow me away, uh, so, I, I don't 
from that point of view, I can't really be like, oh, the game is so amazing. Whoa. But, uh, I don't know. For Carlos, he seemed to like it, so... You know, different stories, different folks. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but, um... It was, it's about two or three hours. It's pretty short. It just might not have been... It's not my game of the year, that's all. Uh, I thought it was an average game. Uh, I don't... I think, you know... I'm not going to say nobody should play it. I'm not going to say uh, it's the greatest game. It just it, it fell kind of in the middle for me. Um, ooh, I don't take that. Mm -mm. So that's, you know... My view is an absolute. <laughs> just kidding, it is. On this channel, come on, my view is absolute. Uh, but no, um, so, you know, I could, I've, I could be wrong, it's up for debate, it's not, nothing's in stone, but, um, just not my personal game of the year, ah, oh, fuck this, I'm having trouble moving straight, <clears throat> alright, I couldn't figure that one out, uh, some, when they change it up diagonally, I have trouble, uh, figuring out where to go sometimes, <clears throat> wow, the boss is that easy, let's see, how am I Digimon? They good. Mm. They're good, but I can make them a lot better. Um, okay. So, this is a weird choice, but I'm gonna look for a Centaurumon, because I know there are a couple enemies around here. There's at least one. HP does. That's fine. I'll leave an HP behind. Um... I want Arrow Vigimon to get one more level up in, so it can learn its ultimate technique. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Um, I don't know how, what Arrow Vigimon's level cap is. Um, I think Devimon's is like 24 or something, like it's a little bit high. And I know that Metal Greymon's is 32. Um, because that's the level you need to get a technique, and I made sure of it. Yeah, here he is. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna take another drink because I've been talking a lot. Oh yeah, but I meant to talk about this. Um, so when I woke up today, I got a solid eight hours. Woke up at like four or five in the afternoon. Um, and I was like, all right. So I obviously need to make a Digimon part, uh, like as soon as possible. Um, but, you know, I don't want, I don't like doing them right after I wake up, because I feel like they're not as good, so, um, the first thing I do is I order food, um, because that way I have to wait for the food to get here, I have to eat the food, uh, and then by then usually I'm woken up enough to have a, decent, make a dis uh, decent video, um, so that, as I was waiting for my food to arrive, that's when I read the last Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega. Very good, very fun stuff. So, I did a dumb thing. I don't know why I'm doing it now. But, uh, I watched the movie Devil, uh, the M. Night Shyamalan movie about the elevator. Uh, I don't know why I did this. It was on Netflix. I really wanted to watch a bad movie, I guess. And <laughs> I watched Devil. And it is not a good movie. If you saw the trailer and was like, that movie looks terrible. Believe it or not, the movie actually is very terrible. I thought it would be, like, stupid terrible, but it's, like, it's way too religious for me. I know it's about the devil. I know you have to do that. That's fine. The premise is nice, but, God, there were way too many, like, religious overtones. I couldn't deal with it. Ugh. Uh, I have a funny story about that movie. I think I've told it. Um, where... Oh, fuck. This is going to be really annoying to do. Um, stop it. Okay, uh, wing D blade. Yep. And then I'll do fire blast. Flaming rocket. Then da -da 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 -da. Okay. Um, yeah, the funny story about that is <laughs> when me and Carlos went to see Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, uh, when it was in theaters, so it would have been years ago. Maybe, I don't know, I want to say, I, I don't even know what year it was. Um, we saw it a little late, like it'd been a couple weeks since it'd been out, and when we went to the theater, uh, it was a small theater, and they showed the preview for Devil, the elevator movie, in it, and, um, 
I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm doing it justice by explaining it this way, but we went to the movie, we saw it, and no, okay, L let me start over. I'm trying to like tell it quickly before we get here, but I'll tell it in a second. Oh, hey you, you're a tamer from the city, aren't you? Yes, I am, and you're talking in fast motion. <clears throat> so, we go to see the movie Devil, we're in the theater, and, or no, we go to see Scott Pilgrim. The preview for Devil comes up, and, every, you know, everyone's kind of, like, talking amongst themselves. It's not, the theater's, like, it's a small, tiny theater, but it's still, like, half full. Like, um, there's still a decent amount of people in here, and all of them are here to see Scott Pilgrim versus the world. So, like, you know, they're on the weird side. Um, and we're watching the preview, and then it just says, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and me and Carlos, to be funny, we go... Ah, oh. at the same time we say that, at least three other different groups of people all go, ah. Oh. <laughs> when we see M Night Shyamalan come up, we all thought of the same joke simultaneously without you know no communication, and then all the theater just burst out laughing uh, because everyone reacted that way. Uh, I thought it was a very funny moment that I've never been able to recreate. Um. <laughs> So that's how I remember the movie Devil. It's also how I remember the movie Scout Pilgrim, but it's really funny. Uh, I, I feel like I might have told that story before. Uh, Carlos loves that story. Uh, because it's just so ridiculous um, that people would react that way. We thought we were being like the creative ones to react that way, but apparently so did other people. Um, taking a decent amount of time to beat these guys. Um, there we go. Okay. Clockmon's the one I really want to get away because of Chrono Breaker. It's super annoying. Uh, I think I'm going to target Tankmon now because I'm assuming he has high HP uh, and high defense. Defense, 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 defense. I like I like to pronounce the E. Defense. Uh, like you defense someone. Like you go to their house and take their fence and just kind of run away with it. Uh, let's just to be safe, do that too. All right. Alright. Um, after I watched Devil, I started movie, watching the movie Movie 43. Because apparently, there's something wrong with me in my brain where it's like, we should watch dumb movies. <laughs> Am I right, Nick? And then I just don't even put up a fuss. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, why, I don't know why I'm watching terrible movies, but I am. Movie 43 is surprising me. Uh, it's not a good movie. If I saw it in theaters, I wouldn't be very happy. It's not like laugh out loud funny. It's like if SNL did skits, only not live, kind of, and way, way, way more over the top and raunchy. So, I don't know. It's definitely not for everyone. I don't know. I don't think I'd recommend it to anyone. It's like, it's kind of funny, but I feel like it goes on a little long sometimes. More than that, you get, you can see the joke they're trying to make right away. But then they keep making that joke for like five minutes and get it progressively more and more obvious and more worse. <sighs> Is more worse a term? I feel like it's not. Dun 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 Alright. So, now we gotta go back and report back to our leader de Fjorda! Um, because I've beaten those domains and I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, so... I should talk to him and check to see what we're doing. What's up, Vandy? Um, see so you guys are being in. Still haven't found the Blood Knights leader? No, because we're like half. Wait, what? You telling me, motherfucker? You didn't help me at all! Ah, oh, fuck. Do I have to go to Professor Pyot? Do I have to. What am I doing here? Yes, I can look it up online, but, I mean, I'm only at, you know, 29 minutes. And I spent 5 minutes talking, so feel like I need to put a little more effort into it. Alright. I'm sure it's in the device dome. I'm sure it's Angemon. I'm sure it's something annoying. Good news is I'm not battling, so I can sit back down in my chair and not have to lean over my computer pressing the delete button and the backspace button. Oh. Um. Yeah. Fun stuff. So today is the 29th Year's almost over. Oh, here we go. Um, Kim, what do you got for me? 
just thinking of you. You're just not my favorite. I was afraid. Oh my god. Don't tell me I'm as dumb as I think I am. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Son of a bitch! Why am I so fucking stupid? I did evolved him. <laughs> Is there any chance, any chance at all, that I did royally fuck this up? Please, please tell me I'm not this dumb. Oh my god, I... No, no, I, I refuse to believe I'm as stupid as this. Uh, oh my god, I forgot the whole reason I had tank run. Where is he? Where is he? I wonder if there's like even the slightest chance that this isn't gonna fuck me up. <sighs> Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> fuck. Oh, so fucking stupid. Alright, so. Let's buy some items. Try not to kill ourselves. Oh my god. How am I this dumb? How could I be this dumb? Did anyone at the beginning of the video, when I said I did evolve my tank mod, did anyone immediately realize what I did, or did you all forget like I did? <sighs> Fucking Digivices. God damn it. Eight is the only, is the maximum I can shoot, I think. God damn it. So fucking stupid. I don't know, are there any upgraded digi beetle parts I can do? I don't know. I'm just since I'm here, I'm so fucking depressed. Um uh, Titanium body. I have the titanium body. Don't need it. Uh since this is gonna go on the adamantium body, I guess it's okay to buy it now. Uh, I'm more interested in these. Crane, chain tires, no, no. Nothing really. So I have the missile gun. I have the... Can I only have three of them? I don't remember how this works. Alright. Let's see if I can upgrade anything just in case. <sighs> Why did I have to be so goddamn stupid? I wasn't thinking straight. I mean, I've got things in my mind. Alright, I, when did I buy the Pegasus engine? Um, fuck me. I'm so goddamn stupid. Okay, so... I guess we get tank mod right now. Because um, why not? Um, should be easy to get through that domain again. Um, God damn it. So fucking stupid. Alright. I don't need this many mag missiles. I feel like I don't need this many drill missiles either. I gotta give something else up too. Okay. So goddamn stupid. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm this dumb. Just be sure to get tank mod early because then you won't have to get him again. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Well, this list should make sure I have plenty of room, so. You're going back here. Uh, and you're going back here. Since I'm not bringing a bug zap again, I have to kind of hope that these four can make it. <sighs> Don't want to do it this part. I'm at 35 minutes, that means I have to go through an entire domain again, try and capture him. I don't think I have it in me. Plus, I want to get this video out as soon as possible, so... No, that is the end for this part. That'll be the first thing I do in the next part, and then I'll probably continue the shenanigans from there. I can't believe how dumb I am, I can't... Okay. I mean, I wish the games, like... I feel like if I did this in Digimon World DS, they would be like... Oh, but you have the scan data for di for tank mod, so it's all good. Or I could de digivolve him or something. <sighs> Alright. Fantastic. Yeah, see, I've already been doing this for a couple hours. I don't want to keep doing it. I started 
grinding at like five o'clock. It's six thirty now. I can't. Ugh, I can't do it. All right. So I'm sorry for the heavy news. Um, if you have any questions, anything like that about uh, my current plan, then feel free to ask in the comments. Um, but to reiterate, I'm gonna. I don't want this music in the background. Hold on. To reiterate, uh, I'm going to finish Digimon. I will continue to do Digimon World 2 parts. So this week it's 16. Next week I'll still do 17. The week after that I'll still do 18. But I'm not uploading any more any videos other than Digimon until then. And when I finish Digimon, I'm going to wait until I get monetization back. I will say this. I'm going to... I'm not stopping. I, I'm going to continue to do this. Even if I have to wait a couple months, I'll come right back. Um, and the day I get monetization back, I will start a Let's Play of a new Digimon game. Because, I mean, I feel terrible about having to leave you guys like this. But I can't risk anything. I mean, I know it seems bad to like have less videos and to go a couple months without them. But it pales in comparison to me having no YouTube channel at all. So, I mean, YouTube wins. Uh, I'm going to play it safe until then. I don't want to test how many steps there are between here and getting my account banned. Or getting more videos taken down or something like that. I'm not... I don't want to put up with it. I'm tired of it. YouTube has just beaten me down. Made me submit. So, uh, that's the end of part 16. See you next week. Again, any questions, just ask. Uh, goodbye.